a model an architect and now our leva miss diva universe 2022 divita rai is with me along with none other than our reigning miss universe harnas kaur sandhu welcome to e times both of you lovely girls your look stunning first of all thank you thank you you too how sweet thank you thank you i'll take that if it's coming from you harnas <laughs> definitely i'm going to take it from you um first of all divita congratulations to you on winning the pageant definitely i'm sure you might have been a little nervous before your crowning moment because you had harnas how was it like what was that moment when you were crowning like you're being crowned you know the nervousness actually all went away as soon as she came in because she's been such a huge strength and support and she's been so accessible for me especially um whatever question i have whatever query i have she's always been there for me so just having her especially beside me crowning me it felt extremely special um and of course you know at that moment you're not thinking too much uh, any sense is just kind of off uh, you're just trying to be as present as you can in that moment and that's exactly what i was trying to be Yeah. Um but do you feel there's any kind of added pressure on your shoulders right now because you are her Nas's successor? Right. So do you feel anything like that? I think pressure is good. It means that there are people, you know, who have expectations from you and that gives me a lot of excitement to uh, you know, bring out the best version of me. And more than the pressure, I just view it as an incredible opportunity, you know, to represent my country on such a global platform. How many of us get that opportunity, you know? Right. I know, right? So, so just own it, own the moment and um I have a different perspective towards life. I have a different upbringing, different values, advocacy. So, bringing that out Uh, it's important to me and i'm really excited for this journey ahead um harnas coming to you you know you're a global citizen yourself right now and both of you all what one thing that is common other than many other things i'm sure would be that you know you're just 20 in your 20s right um harnas what is it that you feel that you know you and divita as a quality have common to win miss universe um i think apart from being indians <laughs> <laughs> that is great <laughs> apart from being indians um um as devita said that her upbringing is different and my upbringing is different and um, you know we have uh, really learned so much from our family our community and values um and i think in the end of the day it's 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 taught in uh, taught in our blood i would say the the humbleness the gratitude the thankfulness of every little things and everyone who was working in a team or anything so i think um that's what i was just telling her that we have so many traits i can see myself in her and uh that we got more opportunity to stay together and compete together during neema mistiva 2021 and i have got the opportunity to know more about her so we find each other comfortable we find more like friends and we can talk about things and we have same perspectives and i think that's very important to have especially being in this position where you have the platform to represent your country at miss universe and all of that so um i i think it's it's really beautiful to see each other with the right laughing mom moments and the right serious moments and the right way to perceive things that are important you know i just have to say that just before we actually got rolling i saw how the both of you were taking care of each other like harnas telling him to touch up this that like that's that's so empowering actually you yeah. know like women looking after women that's right. just beautiful like things that you don't get to see on camera but we witness right. it so it's always great to put it out there right i i think that's the real meaning of being on this platform and right now being as miss universe that i've learned is about in the end of the day we're doing it to empower women around the world you know it's very important to realize and actually inculcate our inputs into women supporting each other and um you know this this there's a lot of pressure that she has and you know eventually people start comparing like they they might compare me with somebody else and they're comparing her with somebody else so i i think it's very important to understand in the end of the day we all have a different way of dealing uh we have a unique quality that nobody else has so it's in, just live your life the way you want and just enjoy everything it's her time to shine and uh, she'll do and live her flow the way she wants so i'm really excited for her journey i'm sure she's going to make all of us very proud definitely harnas the last time we chatted we spoke of your advocacy how far do you think you've gone from then to now with that i actually i was really surprised you know um wherever i went till now i've been to countries like philippines indonesia vietnam and recently south africa and we started the collation with the help of miss universe organization and plan international and we donated the first pad machine with padman aka mr ranachalam who has been a great inspiration for all of us and uh, we started this in delhi Uh, the capital of india and then we went to philippines and we donated another pad machine because through this it's not going to give only livelihood to um women in that rural area but also 
actually live up to the meaning of women supporting each other and it's our mission actually to uh, reach around 500 million women all around the world by 2025 and 5 million within India uh, by 2025 and uh, this coalition has really uh, been uh, you know, it has drastically changed and it's growing and growing. And I was really surprised, uh, especially witnessing, because you only talk, in, but when you see that people are acknowledging it, it really fills my heart and just gives me that more courage and boosts my confidence and energy to keep, keep looking forward. So, yeah, I just go wherever I go. I just tell them that we need more and more support, uh, both men and women supporting us and uh, let everyone realize that they can conquer anything and um, you know, stigmas like menstruation or feminine health or anything like that should not stop you from achieving your goals. Um, Devita, talk to us about your advocacy. Now, we do know that this is very fresh for you and you yes. just started on with your reign. Uh, but something that you would like to share? Yes, of course. I think the whole point of this platform is visibility to the things that you think are important for you. And you, you know, I think it's such a great empowering feeling to be able to talk about issues that are close to your heart and also that can, you know, drive real change. So for me, uh, in my upbringing, in my childhood, it was always emphasized that education is really important. Uh, my own father harnessed its power and, you know, he got himself out of poverty through education. And he was able to provide for himself. He was able to provide for us, give us a better shot at life because he studied he educated himself and that is why you know I feel so passionate about education but I also want to kind of broaden our uh, perspective on what it means to have an education it's not just about grades it's not just about um, a stable career but it's also about the confidence that you get you know the awareness of the opportunities and possibilities that your life has and that's important for kids to know that you know um, these are the life skills the values that you can use to overcome any adversity or obstacle in your life. That is important. Can we um, educate our kids to grow up to be decent human beings who are aware of their rights, who are aware of their values, and just grow up to be kind people, you know, who can cheer on for other people and build this world to be a happier place. That's the incentive. And especially for girl children, I feel, you know, it's so important to um, for them to know about their rights and their uh, for them to gain the confidence to lead their own lives the way they were see themselves to lead. I think that freedom of choice needs to be afforded to them and there's so much more room for improvement, especially in India, to do that and across the world. So, but I want to start with that thought and with that advocacy. Yeah. Now, you yourself come from a very strong education background. Was it difficult, and of course you mentioned about your father as well right yeah. now, was it difficult to navigate your way through the modeling industry and the world of pageantry when it came to convincing your parents to get in here or were they like your biggest support system? So for me, I'm very lucky because I feel blessed. Uh, you know, they gave me the greatest gift, which is to believe in me. And uh, throughout my childhood, even though they have come from a very sort of conventional upbringing, um, they were restricted in the kind of dreams that they should be wanting to pursue. Um, they always ensured that the, for me and my brother, so my older brother is also an indoor cricket player. He's played nationally, uh, represented India uh, for the World Cup in Australia, in, in Sri Lanka as well. So for both of us, they've always taught us that, you know, have your own dreams, but make sure that you work hard, you are passionate about it, and you don't give up. You know, you have the freedom to choose whatever it is that you want to do in your life but make sure that you put in your heart and soul to manifest that and make that a reality. So they've given us complete freedom um, and values to you know, hold our own. Harnas, coming to you, you know, in your eight months of your reign as of now, who was your biggest support system? I know it's tough, like there's so much out there which is beautiful and nice, but behind, things can get a little tough, right? Um, do you feel that you had a dull moment and there was somebody who really backed you up to just put yourself up? Um, apart from my mom, um SS1, who is uh, director of uh, talent head of Miss Universe organization, um, she has really inspired me. She has been with me 24 into 7. She has seen me getting overwhelmed. She has seen me getting confident and, you know, coming back and stronger and all of that that happens, you know. So I, I think she has really, really inspired me and she has been my backbone and um, there's so many things that I was really new to, but she made me realize that she she gave me that time to understand and she actually made me realize my worth 
and what exactly I can do and why exactly I'm here. I'm here for this thing so I can do it and all of that. So she truly inspires me from inside out, irrespective of whatever everybody says. I think there has been a moment where almost everyone started uh, having their own perspectives, but she never, ever uh, let me down. I would say she always had that faith in me. And I think that really inspires me with the whole purpose of exactly being a Miss Universe and uh, why exactly I should be the Miss Universe and why is it even a title that represents so many things so yeah she has really played a very important part in my journey and um, I think the lessons that I've learned from her is going to be for the rest of my life so thank you so much for that Harnaz what plans after this now like we all know your love for Bollywood your love for films in general you've been an actress before are we going to see you anytime soon doing something or what's your plan B well, you truly know I actually started this uh, as an actor only and as a theatre artist, I would ra rather say that. Um, and my passion for acting has always been me and I never realised until I was 17. I went on the stage for the first time and I uh, respected the meaning of being on stage and, you know, the passion and everything. And I have a very different perspective for acting, you know, of course to enjoy and do, doing different kind of movies, but at the same time, um, breaking stigmas and, you know, talking about things. Because whenever we come out of a theatre, we get so influenced by a character we get so influenced by that movie the script and everything and it's very relatable for us so we get influenced so that influence is very important and uh, that's what I look forward to following my passion and giving back to society and I think being an actor I really look forward for uh, performing globally so uh, for that stay tuned uh, it's gonna be a lot of things <laughs> yay totally waiting for it Abhine next time she bring it to us Sony don't worry <laughs> don't worry you'll know it breaking news <laughs> Um, Devita, coming to you, what are your preparations going to be like in the coming days as you prepare for the Miss Universe pageant? Well, the prep is really about um, rooting to a purpose, you know, rooting myself to um, an advocacy that I really feel important. And I think that's important because, you know, the, the, with the pressure, with a lot of voices telling you how you should be, what you should look like, what you should do, it's important to find your identity and your voice. So as much um, open as I am to embracing new thought, new lessons, new ways of growing and evolving, it's also important for me to understand, okay, I'm here for a reason reason and uh, you know education something is important to me this is something that you know I want globally people to know about and sticking to that also what is your take about Miss Universe getting so inclusive right now I mean it's amazing Harna spoke to us about how she feels about it what do you feel about it I think it's incredible don't you think that um, the organization you know is keep it just keeps pushing boundaries and keeps evolving about what a woman of the 21st century should look like and that is amazing you know you regardless of what phase of life you go on with your dreams are valid and that's exactly what this whole new um, you know rule talks about you know your dreams are valid regardless of the choices you've made and you know come on over you know live your life own your truth so I think that's incredibly powerful and it's setting an example for all of us you know of how we should think of the kind of perspectives we should have for what is possible for a woman and what's not what according to you is the role of social media nowadays as far as shaping beauty queens is concerned? I think it's important to look at social media um, very, uh, not in a way that that can harm you. You know, you have to look at it critically and see what is it that is going to help me grow and evolve as a person and what is it that's just there to bash me or bring me down. You know, it's so easy for someone to sit behind anonymously, you know, not knowing about your upbringing, your journey and just say blatantly whatever that they feel like saying hate is so easy to spread but at the same time you have to center yourself and be like no you know you may have the freedom to speak you may have the freedom to form an opinion about me but it's not going to be at the cost of me and that's important to have that's that so opinion. well said right? right beautifully said in fact this in itself is such a huge moment right now although Harnaz must have passed on you know her Leva Miss Diva title Miss Diva Universe title but she's still a reigning Miss Universe right now you're just beginning your reign so fresh off the I, board fresh <laughs> off the board I feel like this in itself is such a huge thing for our country um, what I want to ask you is Divita that let's just say you're crowned Miss Universe what are the three things that you're going to do right after you're crowned 
Well, um, the first thing is definitely, you know, um, I hope that I can inspire people, you know, through my own journey. Uh, I, I feel like the best inspiration you can bring to people is just how authentically and honestly you live your own life. That's the biggest impression because it gives the freedom and liberty for other people to live their own truth. And that's how life should be like, you know, I have different dreams, other people have different dreams. But in my own journey of struggle, like, I feel like everybody has similar challenges of finding the courage of, fi of you know, overcoming the fears of not being good enough. And that's all I've gone through as well in my own journey. So the first thing is just to be able to inspire people, you know, just look at me, you know, it was possible for me. I, right now, sitting here, uh, next to her, it just feels surreal because last year reality was something totally different. So that is really powerful, and I feel if people can see that in me and see that in themselves, then half of the job is already done, don't you think? Second thing, second because I remember Harnas telling me, Mujhe to makkai di roti sarso da saak hai. <laughs> Yeah, I was honest. I was yeah. very honest, don't I you? Did that. I know. Listen, yes. the <laughs> other two things are eating only. <laughs> How do you like talking? I'm talking. Sure. Listen, I love talking. <laughs> so you will talk. I will talk. Yeah. <laughs> she will keep on changing topics, but she keep talking. <laughs> yeah, but I I love chocolate. So chocolate yeah. binge. Yeah. So guys, um, if you have like a hamper of chocolates that you want to send across, send <laughs> or or like, uh, I do, I do, I do. But I'm just kind of restricting myself, you know. Uh, we want to be in the best shape, best version of myself, yes. Um, Harnas, coming to you, what is that one tip or advice that you would like to give to Devita? You know, something that you learned from your journey and you feel that this is something that should be a lesson that she should follow. I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to know more about her way before she was crowned, you know, spending that time together and competing for Leva Miss Diva 2021 title. Um, but uh, the only advice I can give to her um, is that just stay the way you are. Um, you know, the confident, bold and, um, you know, that unstoppable woman she is already. And don't forget to enjoy the whole journey. It's going to be just surreal. It's going to be a beautiful feeling and it's going to be a lot of pressure, but make sure that you take time for your mental health. It's important to feel overwhelmed. It's it's totally fine. and But I also at the same time, take a break and breathe in, breathe out and just go with the flow. And um, I, I think that's how I try to do it because I had only 30 days. So I'm happy that she has little long Slightly time, longer. but the pressure is going to be you know for that longer time and once you're there um, at Miss Universe pageant you will just feel so happy for the opportunity that you've gotten so I really look forward for how she uh, perceives it um, but uh, she knows that I, I'm always there whenever she needs me you know um, Devita I'm sure you must have seen every time her Nas comes to India there's so much love right at the airport like the paparazzi guys are crazy because and not because of the fact that you are Miss Universe of course that's always there for the person that you are and a lot of it I see that even in you Devita you're so warm the energy is so warm <laughs> um, what I want to ask you is that is there anything that you feel you know when you look up to her Naz are things that you want to imbibe during your reign Definitely. I think just the strength, you know, uh, this is something that I've also mentioned to her before that just that strength to not give up at that crucial moment. How can I exert myself a little more? You know, I've already here. How can I give my best at this moment and not have any regrets in my life later on? So I think all of those qualities of her strength of just to the grace and poise with which she's carried herself during her entire reign. Those are some fantastic qualities in her and I would you know, grow so much just trying to imbibe that in me. So definitely that fierce spirit and strength. Thank you so much for chatting with us. It was an absolute pleasure. The energy is so warm, feels so happy. Thank you, thank you so much. Wish you all the very thank best. Thank you. Wish you all the very best too for everything else that you do in life. Thank you so much. Thank you.